Hi, I'm Natalie with Eminence Organic Skincare, and welcome to In The Mix. Well, today's a hot topic, that's for sure. Um, it's all about acne, and mainly, when you have it on your face, how do you even know how it happened? How did it get there? How do you identify the cause? So part of our conversation today was gonna be about acne map, uh, face mapping. So basically, how do you look at your face like a map? and then be able to identify some of the key um, reasons why you may be getting a small blemish or a little bit more of a severe acne blemish where you see a little bit of that pustule happening. So we wanna definitely cover that and a big guy, which is mask me. So we're gonna, we're gonna cover all of that in our discussion today. So let's just begin with that first conversation. So what is causing my acne? What, where, why is it even happening? So we know, probably all of you who have it have pretty good idea that it can come from your diet, it can come from stress, it can come from just your environment, right? So from um, being indoors with central heating and air conditioning, that can change the temperature of our skin, giving it a different response. It could just be from being outside. Any of you are doing any activities outdoors. So for those who live in more wintered uh, areas, you might be spending time on the slopes or outside. So we're seeing a lot of that more aggression outdoors with the wind, or maybe you live in really warm climates where the air is really, really dry, really, really hot, or incredibly humid. So we have a lot of things to be considering when we've seen the breakouts on our skin. So that is why using an acne face map is a really great way to do it. So I'm just gonna give you the download, something really easy for you to follow. If you tend to see most of your breakouts and across, let's say, the forehead area, across the top, and really close to that hairline, a few things could be causing the breakout. Uh, one, it could be just products. Okay, it could be your shampoos, it could be your conditioners, it could be maybe you like to wear a little more hair product like mousses and gels and texturizers. When they're really close to the edge of your hairline, um, why you might see breakouts there for that reason is one thing to keep in mind is that if you follow your hair, so if you take your hair and you follow it almost like a fireman pole, like go all the way down and you pass the first layer of skill and then you go a little bit lower, that's actually where the oil gland is. So the oil gland is in the hair follicle on the top. So you can see if there's any um, products that are causing every blockage there, you're going to block the hairline. You're going to cover that, that pore that's got the hair coming out of it, causing some more congestion, and then you can see those breakouts. The other is stress. So usually when we're under a lot more stressors, uh, it could be just even not having enough sleep, right? Sometimes we're not getting the rest that we're looking for. It can put a little more stressors on the body, and then it will just happen. The stressors will cause some more inflammation, and then you end up with that tendency to aggravate or stimulate the oil gland area and then causing a breakout. What does these breakouts generally look like? Because there's not a lot of tissue before bone on the forehead area, the acne you see on your forehead will be more like little tiny bumps. Um, they might look like you could scrub them off and they could be quite red around them. And occasionally you may see also a little bit more of a bacteria relationship, which is when you start to see a little bit of that pustule that you see. So that's the first zone. The second one, um, keeping it super simple, would be like in the cheek area here multiple factors. Some people do say it could be even diet. So like digestion can sometimes sit here in the cheek area, but believe it or not, it's sometimes just your phone. The phone, the phone, the phone, because it is also, a, it, it's hot, right? So your phones tend to hold heat and they lay quite flat to our faces and that can cause some heat and some gunk and plus just picking it up, putting it in your bag, putting it on the counter. I know we're sanitizing like crazy, but we're not probably sanitizing our phone half as much as we should be. So please keep that in mind if you tend to see a lot of breakouts here as well. The second thing, your pillowcases. Think about how much time you spend sleeping versus how long you're awake. So if you can kind of do the average, let's say you're spending between eight and maybe four hours, depending on, on how much of an early bird you are, sleeping. So that's a long time to be laying or moving your face or your skin on top of some fabric. So we're gonna see some friction here. We're gonna be generating more heat. Plus, I don't know about you, but how often are you changing your pillowcases, right? So on average, I think in the perfect world, we should be um, at least changing our pillowcases every two days, and then you're flipping your pillow over 
for those two nights in between. Ideally, that's what we are, but I'm pretty sure most of us are maybe doing it weekly. So you may also want to look at finding some way to sanitize or spray your fabrics or look for breathable fabrics, actually things like silk and bamboo. Fantastic choices for all of you who may be seeing that more aggravation in that area. And then the last one I really want to talk to you about is right across the chin and the jawline here. So if we're seeing them deep on here or around the mouth area, more often than not, it is related to hormones. And boys and girls, male, female, all deal with hormones, okay? So it doesn't matter uh, what side, when we speak of hormones, sometimes it gets a little bit distorted, but just knowing that if there's any fluctuation of hormone within inside of our body, it can affect our skin and it can trigger some inflammations and create more of that acne. We see different kind of acne too across the mouth area and the jawline. Sometimes they're a little bit deeper and heavier weighted here in the base of the jaw. They can run almost merging with the cheek actually, and we can see they're a bit dark darker in color, they have that purpley or that more inflamed redness. We can see that pustule happening, but usually sometimes right around the mouth, you get those too, but they're a little bit different. They're more bumpy, more irritated. Sometimes they can look a little flaky. Okay, so we can really see those differences. So just a quick recap for you, across the forehead, could be diet and stress in the che uh, cheek area. Think about your environmental stressors, like your pillowcases as well. And oh, and the other one could be cosmetics too, right? So if you're if you're wearing blushes and cosmetics or any type of powder, that can also cause some congestion leading to the acne. And then of course, then the jawline here is we're looking at the stressors that happen overall. And that help that actually shoots up your hormones. And then we end up with more hormonal based acne or blemishes. So now that we have like the download of when you're looking in the mirror and you're trying to identify what happened and how did it get here, we also need to have just a little short conversation of what is going on. So as I mentioned with the hair follicle earlier, if there is any um, obstruction or something sealing off your uh, pore, okay? So that, because through the pore is going to be where your oil gland is, that's where you create the blockage. And then it's trapping all the stuff inside, like dead skin cells, could be some bacteria, could just be oil that's naturally trying to make its way through. And that's what's happening. It's kind of like just making a great little recipe inside the follicle that is causing it not able to leave as it should. And we get the blockage and we end up with that breakout. So we definitely want to be able to manage those things first. So before I go into some really amazing product recommendations for all of you, depending on the type of acne that you're seeing, is to also just take a moment with all of you, and especially during this time, is speaking about mask knee. So it's because we're wearing these little fabulous fashion statements everywhere now, right? And I've got my one ready for spring, but if you can see, I'm just gonna put on to demonstrate for you. You can see where it goes. So it is a quite a large surface area that is being covered up and it may be being covered up for multiple hours at a time. So if we think about it, if we have something covering up our face and we are breathing underneath, we're naturally creating almost like a steam cabbie, believe it or not, with inside that mask barrier. A couple of things, that's good, because it means that, not, that the droplets are not leaving out into the air, but staying within. So that's also where we run into some issues, is that it's kind of like all sticking inside. So you get some humidity in there, and you know, it is our breath. So you may want to have it smell a little better, better if you have like garlic like me. So I tend to not have my garlic at lunch, I have it a little bit later in the evening. But noting that when you're covered up, all of that energy that you're, all the droplets are sitting around on your skin. I like to consider it almost like an environmental stressor. So the environment around the skin surrounding that area there is what's being um, pressured on top of my skin. And from there we can get heat and bumps. So what I've noticed is even though I may not get any breakouts here on the side, it's definitely happening a lot more around the mouth area. So I mean, right down along the side. Now, a couple of things can be happening. You can get that congestion from the heat that not exfoliation is not happening. So you're getting more um, congestive. So you get bumps and sometimes they get irritated and sometimes we're scratching them and we're moving them afterwards. 
and they start to get really red and very irritated. So I wanna share some really great products that you can be using at home too, to really manage that overall. Um, and I think one of the best tips I can give you is to remove your mask every four hours if you are able to. So try to limit the amount of time that you're in that little steam cabbie, if you wanna call it that, uh, so that you're allowing the skin a minute or two to have some fresh air and also give you a chance to wipe it down, okay? So there's, there's just a couple of things that are happening overall. I know it was a lot. So let's get down to it. Let's get down to some products that you can be using at home. So first and foremost, we really want to make sure the area is clean, right? So we're going to do really good deep cleansing and we want to make sure that we're doing um, something to help to exfoliate that layer that could be causing the congestion. I really think double cleansing method is super important. Um, first, we would start with an oil-based cleanser, okay? So I have our gorgeous um, stove crop cleansing oil here for that. It lifts and suspends beautifully, good for everybody, including acne. So remember that this goes on, couple pumps right onto the skin. No need to add water first, massage it through, allow it to emulsify and gather anything off the skin and then rinse it off. Okay. So once you finish rinsing it off, you're going to go with a second cleanser. Uh, if you are dealing with acne, so you're seeing it quite a bit, then I would definitely go with our Acne Advanced Cleansing Foam. Uh, this is so easy to use. It's like a couple pumps, it turns into this beautiful foaming action and it's super hydrating, but not uh, it's not gonna make you feel like you've got all this uh, lotion and cream all over your skin. You have a super clean skin, but not tight and dry. Love it. Uh, if you are just dealing with the issue around the mouth area, as we just finished talking about, this is still fine as, as a piece that you can use in your home care routine. Another option, just go for our classic straight up fantastic stone crop gel wash. You can never go wrong with that either. And that's great for all ages as well. So if you have any little, little guys running around the house with the same issue, that's going to be a little bit more appropriate for their skin. Then once you're done that, uh, go ahead and use your favorite toner. If you like, no problem there, but Golden Child right here is gonna use um, an exfoliation treatment. I love, as you have seen me in the past, love our Vita Skin Exfoliating Peels. Why? Because they're super fast. I don't have to think about it. You literally open the lid, take a cotton round, press, wipe, let it be, you're done. And you can do this three times a week. Okay, so what about if you wanna mask your mask knee? or your problem skin. I love my famous go-to, always have. So those of you who watch me know that the Citrus and Kale Potency Any Mask is one of my ultimate go-tos. Why? Good for everybody. All skin types, all skin conditions, no fail. And it's super easy to use. You're not really locked into how long you have it on your skin either, which is also one of my favorites. I would say anywhere between five to 10 minutes is plenty of time to really get the beautiful result from this mask. That's always like the number one thing I have in my back bar at home, my home back bar. Um, another option uh, to look at is my personal hack. I love... <laughs> I have hacks for all kinds of things because I have got too many products. I have to figure a way to use them all. Uh, but mainly when I'm looking at uh, the blemishes or, or the problems that I have on my skin, and sometimes they don't last for very long. Maybe I'm just getting it for a few days and it's just bugging me and I want to get it fixed super fast. I call it like my magic. Um, I seriously, everybody, I always have the Acne Advanced Clarifying Hydrator at home always have it there. Um, I have it as my little SOS. I love putting a couple of pumps of this into any of my moisturizers, whether it's my daytime moisturizer or my nighttime moisturizer, because it really helps with, um, really, I wake up in the morning, literally if I use it at night, and it's like my skin has gotten all clear. So I love it. So I would love to hear from you if you are using this hack, how it's working for you, because it's, it's my favorite thing, but my favorite thing may not be your favorite thing, so we can go there. Um, and how do I hack with it? Is I will often use it with the Mangosteen Daily Resurfacing Concentrate. This is beautiful too. If your combination, um, normal skin type, uh, if you love minimizing your pores, golden ticket right here, uh, you would just do that. I do three to one, usually like three pumps of one, one pump of the other that gives me four. Why four? Is because I really wanna make sure I go from the forehead down all the way down to my chest area. I like to have a nice even finish. If that's not your jam, do uh, two and two or one and one. That's totally fine, but that's the hack. The hack is the acne advanced hydrator, okay? So that's the guy there. The other one, I'm telling you peeps, just spot treat. 
It's one of the easiest things you possibly can do. Um, we have the clear skin targeted treatment. I know, look how skinny and awesome it is. So it's super easy to use in case you've never seen this before. It's got like a little pump on the side of it. So it's super manageable to just make a, like I'm talking about a quarter pump. Like you don't have to push this thing too far. Like, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look how small that is. And look at the spreadability. Like it goes and goes. And you probably can't see now that it's good, but I can feel it. It's moving and moving and moving. So a little does go a long way. And as it says, it's a target treatment. Go ahead and attack that area. Use it super easy. And it's absolutely manageable in your existing home care routine that you're doing right now. A couple of things that I also wanted to remind all of us is, is because if you have problem skin, you might be a little bit nervous to use moisturizers or creams, uh, but there is a huge advantage to using a cream base or a moisturizer as your finishing product because you want to make sure that you're not losing any of that water in your skin and you're creating that balance, okay? So you can do, uh, I have here a day and a night solution, especially if you are dealing with problem skin. I have our beautiful Clear Skin Probiotic Moisturizer. I tell you, put this on and your skin instantly gets cold. It has a cooling effect, really relaxes the skin, and it has great benefit for addressing that particular concern. But it is a cream, okay? Don't be afraid of it. You can always add a little bit of water too to make it lighter. But one I really wanted to bring up today that I think is also incredibly important is our Lotus Detox um, yeah, yeah, right. Overnight treatment. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Don't tell anybody. So I have this on. And what I love is there are some specialized ingredients you can see in there. They're going to melt right into your skin. And it's an overnight treatment. So what does this mean is it's going to protect your skin all night long from losing water which is a huge issue if you're trying to battle blemished skin and just overall really helping your skin from your everyday life. Whew. Wow, that was a lot of information that we covered, but really great and important information for all of us to have. And I am super thrilled to uh, have had this opportunity with all of you to discuss this main issue that we are seeing today. And of course, as always, if you wanna see more of these and don't miss any more, just don't forget to hit subscribe and hit our notification bell and then we'll catch you on the flip side. Again, I'm Natalie with Eminence Organic Skincare for another In The Mix.